Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I got a case for you to, or I got a case to review for you. Um, this is the uh, Moment Rugged Camera Accessory Case. Um, I believe that's what it's called. Yes, uh, Moment Rugged Waterproof Camera Accessory Case. <laughs> Um, there was actually two sizes of these types of cases, and this is the larger one for $29.99. And um, this is um, mostly got this to transport my drone. Uh, you'll see it has this kind of red zipper on here, uh, or reddish orange, orange. Um, um, but um, it's a kind of a hard shell, and. Um, this is it. Um, this is what I carry. This is kind of my travel camera kit. Uh, I got my DJI Mini uh, 2 and uh, I got my GoPro uh, Hero 9 GoPro accessories right here. And um, it has these little um, uh, pockets right here. And I guess that's for an SD card. You can get an SD card and put it in there. It's kind of hard to see, um, but you can put it in there like that. Uh, I really wish that these um, little pockets kind of went all the way through, um, so you can um, get your GoPro. Um, um, I don't even know what the, to call these pegs, uh, accessory pegs or whatever. But see, like you can't just stick them through, and you can't do it in the smaller uh, pocket either. So, I have to drop them right there, or I have to put them in here with the um, extra props for my um, uh, Mini 2. But, um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the case. I haven't tested this waterproof ability. I'm sure it's just rainproof and splashproof. I'm pretty sure you can't submerge it. Um, and I'm not gonna, I don't really feel like testing that, especially with the stuff in it. But just to kind of show you what this uh, holds, um, um, I already showed you that I got uh, some GoPro um, accessories in here. I got these uh, screws or pegs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and um, I keep all of those types of stuff in this uh, pocket right here. Um, for my GoPro, it's really frustrating if you don't have a functioning screw for your GoPro to mount it to the mounts and the grips and stuff. Uh, this is my GoPro um, battery charger. Um, it holds three batteries and I think you can put a micro SD card right there and you can put a micro SD card right there. And this is a, um, a Tilson. It's not focused. It's a Tilson. And that fits right there. Then um, I decided to quit uh, screwing off the joysticks on my uh, DJI controller. I just leave them in there now. I need to order me some spares to put in here. But um, um, it's just, you know, when, when, I, when I am filming and flying, uh, so I just decided it's just easier to keep the screws in. You can unscrew them and stuff. That goes right here. It fits quite well. Uh, my drone and my um, battery uh, charger for my drone. This is the Flymore package. You can charge up to three batteries. And you can use this charger to uh, charge your phone if you need to as a battery bank. That just fits right there. And right there in that um, cubby. Fits just fine. And I got um, my um, uh, drone uh, uh, registration card right here. And I keep that in there. And so, like, um, this, what I use this for is when I'm packing it, mostly when I'm packing it in a suitcase, and also when I'm carrying it in the vehicle, obviously. Um, I don't know if I would fly with this case. There was uh, very little padding, and things are kind of, you know, you can move uh, back and forth a little bit. That doesn't move too much, but um, like there's really no padding. It it's kind of universal, so you can um, take this bit out, and you have more space in this area if you have a longer drone. And I guess I can actually have it tried this.
but get a little bit more custom fit where it doesn't slide around as much. It still slides a little bit, but um, um, it's good because you know you're not going to crush anything unless you just drop some outrageous weight on it, and it keeps things relatively immobile. You know, it keeps it relatively still, so it's not slamming up against stuff. And um, if I'm, uh, let's just say I have this in my vehicle and I'm swimming at the beach and I'm dripping, uh, you know, in the passenger uh, seat, it's not going to get my drone wet or salty and stuff. So I really like the case for packing it in a suitcase, packing it in my vehicle, uh, and keeping all my uh, kind of action camera stuff together. Um, you know, I'm, I'm putting the drone in the category of action camera, but it keeps my GoPro and my uh, drone stuff together. The only bad thing is I can't put my GoPro mounts in here really. Um, mostly my three position tripod or three in one tripod don't fit in here. I could possibly put in a hat clip or a, a chesty rig in here, but it's going to take up a lot of room and it might not, like I might have to toss this out and put the uh, chesty rig in this pocket right here um, and then I'll be without the extra batteries uh, so it doesn't it doesn't hold everything but it keeps the very expensive stuff somewhat protected and um, you saw when I grabbed this SD card that um, there's like a little pocket right here that I grabbed it from um, so that's usually where I keep my SD cards I don't have a lot of SD cards um, but I real like, that's the big kicker. I have two complaints. One, these um, little loops aren't uh, passed through where you can put your um, uh, GoPro accessory uh, screws in. And uh, two, I wish this um, uh, pocket right here was a little bit deeper because these uh, props will kind of work themselves out a little bit. And if you put anything else in there, uh, sometimes they'll just kind of work themselves out a little bit. Uh, not all the time, but I have had that as an issue, um, especially when I was trying to keep my accessory pegs in there. We just didn't hold them. Uh, but um, other than that, cool case, cool case for um, uh, thirty dollars plus whatever shipping is. It's a rigid herd case. It's going to protect it from most things. I haven't found out a good use for this pocket yet. <laughs> So maybe that's where I should put my chesty rig or my hat rig. I haven't actually tried that out yet. But um, that's it. That's the review. It's relatively affordable. And uh, as some of you may know, the GoPro and the uh, drone is not affordable at all. So um, some of you might have issues of using a very affordable case. But I'm telling you, this case gets the job done. And I haven't had any issues um, you know, when I went to the coast with this case, you know, I, um, I did a lot of, I do most of my GoPro and uh, drone footage at the coast. So this is either right beside me, uh, in my, um, kind of driver's passenger area or sitting up uh, beside me at the coast in my chair. And it's done a, a, a good job of what it was designed to do. It's obviously not going to be as form-fitting as some of the uh, pluck-out foam cases, like Pelican cases and stuff, but those can be quite expensive. This seemed like a good buy to me, and I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to zip it up and give it just a slight shake. Let's try this other zipper. I'm... It's hard to do this behind the tripod. There we go, but um, you can kind of hear the wiggle in there, so it's not completely uh, form-fitting, and, and your stuff's going to move a little bit, but it's not going to move enough where it's going to damage the um, gear. So that's it. That's the uh, Moment Hard Accessory Case. It fits the DJI uh, Mini 2, uh, and it fits um, GoPro and a few GoPro Essentials. And um, other than that, you, um, you can't really ask for much more for the price that it is. That's it. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.